And as we notice a shot of the climate-controlled clubhouse this evening, a rather large crowd on hand this evening here at the races. And the horses and drivers are now moving in behind the starting gate. It's post time for tonight's eighth race exactor. And moving in along the inside, it will be D. Alexandros. Ames Banner is moving in next along with Peter Perdue, Razzle Elmahurst, August Wind, Rebel Count, and on the outside is High Viscosity. And the overwhelming choice at this time on the tote board at 3 to 5, the number 7 horse, High Viscosity. And this five-year-old son of Dallas Elmahurst has been almost unbeatable in the claiming ranks here at Windsor Raceway. He's won two-thirds of his races, six out of nine on the year. He's going for seven this evening, and he looks quite good. Also getting some play, the number two horse, Ames Banner, with Kevin Wallace driving. This horse is taking a jump up in class, finishing second his last start. Eighth race pacers are now moving on through the backstretch. It's post time for the eighth race. And as the odds still remain the same, the favorite at 3-5, to five, the outside horse, number 7, High Viscosity. And there they go. They're off and pacing, going on out for the early lead on the outside, Rebel Count. Way out wide with a rush, High Viscosity coming through to be third. As August Wind settling in to be fourth, Ames Banner away fifth is D. Alexandros. Now sixth on around the turn is Peter Perdue and Razzle Elmahurst trailing the field, racing on over towards the quarter, moving right along on the outside. High Viscosity coming on to take over the lead. Opening quarter, 27 and four fifths. Racing on through the stretch for the first time. That's High Viscosity now with the lead. Rebel Count is racing along in second. August Wind is third. Ames Banner along in fourth and coming to the outside to challenge. Racing up on the outside, Peter Perdue with the Alex. Andros off stride. That was Razzle Elmahurst as they race on over towards the half. Moving up on the outside, coming quickly to take control, Ames Banner. High Viscosity is now racing along in second. Peter Perdue coming on the outside. Halfway home in 58 seconds flat. Racing the back stretch, Ames Banner has the lead. High Viscosity second, Peter Perdue on the outside. Rebel Count now fourth, and there goes D'Alexandra starting up quickly on the outside. August Wind far back trailing is Razzle Elmahurst racing on over towards three quarters. Ames Banner with the lead. High Viscosity on the outside. Peter Perdue. Rebel Count and D. Alexandros along the inside. August Wind on past three quarters in one. 27 and two. Racing on around the far turn. Ames Banner turning it on. Racing through second. High Viscosity. Peter Perdue and Rebel Count far outside. D. Alexandros. And August Wind, top of the stretch, less than an eighth of a mile to go. Ames Banner still with the lead. High Viscosity looks for room on the outside. Peter Perdue, way out wide, Rebel Count on through the lane. Ames Banner in front. Do you know your dad just got his third win of the night? Do you know that? This is Keith Wallace. He was named after Keith Waples. It's Kevin's son. Never been on TV before, right? Look at that. Look at the tongue, huh? Looks like he's going to be a track announcer before he's a driver, though. Keith, uh, Kevin Wallace, not Keith, wins uh, the last race with Ames Banner. Ames Banner looked awfully sharp. Yeah, all right. In winning this last race, he goes off as the second choice of two to one. And he knocks off High Viscosity, who is the over, um, overwhelming favorite. There's the winner's circle presentation. John and Shirley Simpson and Kevin Wallace own this horse. Here he is on top, coming down to the wire. Down on the inside is uh, High Viscosity, who ends up finishing second. And finishing third was number three, Peter Perdue. And Ames Banner returns 660, 310, 250. Finishing second, High Viscosity, 260, 230. The three horse, Peter Perdue, paid 480. The exactor paid $18.30.